PVP godism is not in my possession, and because of that, I got a few things that I need to get off my chest. Yeah, I said it. Godism. My word, I coined it, and you can't have it. <laughs> when it comes to the state of the game for PvP in Destiny 2, we have seen a few changes these past few weeks. For starters, the flawless pool is now gone and has been replaced with two soft pools. The challenger pool and the practice pool. Those pools actually went live this week, so if you're waiting for the flawless pool, then you're kind of wasting your time. I have already covered the new flawless system, and if you guys are interested in the details, I will put them in a card at the top right of the screen right now, as well as at the end of this video. However, today, I want to talk about comp and all the issues with it so far as of the mid-season of Season 20 for Destiny 2. As of this video, there are three different game modes for competitive. Those are Survival, Showdown, and Rift. First off, why is Rift even in comp? Like, everyone hates Rift. Even the people who like Rift don't even like to play Rift in comp. Rift is not a bad game mode, but I think I speak for everyone in the entire room when I say that it should not be in competitive. Personally, I feel that they should actually remove Rift from comp and actually bring in a game mode called Blinded where the radar is removed completely and the first team to 10 points wins. Additionally, you can't resurrect a teammate, but it will allow respawns. Now hear me out on this before you guys start trying to tear me a new one. Regardless whether blinded is a thing or not, there will always be snipers and there will always be teams that ape. This will never change. Now, Will you see an increase in sniper gameplay as well as apes for this game mode? Yeah. But this also makes players rely on their skill and proper callouts versus seeing someone on a radar. I promise you, if Blinded was an actual game mode in Destiny 2, a lot of players would lose a lot of ELO points because they crutch on a radar way too much in order to get kills. This is something that a lot of people would, and a lot more, those who crutch on radar, would not agree to. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room, and the most annoying thing in the game to date, which is rubber banding. For those who don't know, rubber banding is when there's such great lag between you and your opponent, when you guys are in a very close range fight, they seem to melee you so fast, it hits you like twice, even three times, before you can actually get off one melee. This has been an issue in Destiny 2 for years, and I still don't understand why Bungie hasn't fixed this yet. Not to mention, this issue can cost you the round, or even the match. They need to make the competitive game mode connection-based matchmaking, or CBMM for short. That way, your connection matches my connection, and there will be little to no lag the entire match. Fireteam matchmaking is great, but connection-based matchmaking in conjunction with Fireteam matchmaking, like they are currently doing in Trials of Osiris for the next couple weeks, which is week eight and 11, I feel would definitely benefit um, comp if they actually did the same. Next, when it comes to comp, your loadouts matter even more because we change them on the fly. Unfortunately, when your opponent sees what you are using, just by inspecting your guardian when you are flying into the match, they change up what they are actually using in order to counter your weapons. Or, more so when your opponent is losing, they want to switch up weapons to something cheap for an easy win in order to gain the advantage. This is when you see all of the Yotans, aka flying toasters come out, or the now snipers that just had a shotgun or a fusion rifle when we actually started the match. So Bungie, what I'm proposing is that you actually lock the equipment in comp and, need I say, Trials of Osiris as well before we actually start flying into a match with our team. And this will work the same way that the game does with Grandmaster Nightfalls. That way, your opponent can't change their weapon to counter yours. Comp and Trials of Osiris are both competitive game modes in D2, and I feel that there should be a lot more restrictions on what we can and cannot do in those game modes. Speaking of restrictions, next, let's go ahead and talk about error codes. 
Error codes have become a huge issue in D2 for the past couple of months. And that's literally the entire game, not just comp. But it affects comp even more because when you actually get in error code while in a match and you get sent back to the main screen, not only do you get a loss and tons of points taken away, which in my opinion isn't fair to the player at all, but you also get the message that you quote, left the match too early, end quote, which could actually lead to timeouts and restriction from playing comp, even if there was no issue on your end with the internet. Just like in trials, I feel that when you go into comp, since it is FTMM based, going in a match with a two stack is better than a three stack because all of the sweats play comp as a three stack. And as a solo player, you are actually taking a huge risk with two blueberries that may or may not be good. Now, this isn't an issue if you are amazingly good in PVP, AKA PVP God is um, but it is a struggle for others who aren't that good. The next problem is a little more of a why the fuck moment. And that is matching against the same team that just destroyed your team in the previous match. I'm talking like a four and 12 in showdown, zero V six in survival and zero V three in rift. Now I know for a fact that when you play comp, your team and your opponents that you just brutally lost to are not the only team playing comp in the world. There should be no reason that you should be forced to play that same team that destroyed you within the next three to five matches. That doesn't make you or your team better players at all, and it allows the other team to farm you for wins, and that's just not cool because that drastically drops your points that you actually get from comp that you would have got from a win. And this brings me to our next issue, which is the point system. I don't know what the HE double hockey stick is going on with the point system in comp, but it is stupid AF. I mean, one match I get like 80 points for the win, and then the next two matches I get like five and 10 points for winning. I could win seven straight matches in a row and get a total of 130 points just to lose a single match and bam, now I'm negative 200 or more points, more than what it took me to get in seven matches with just one loss. Wait, didn't you used to get more points for going on win streaks? Whatever happened to that system in Destiny 2 for comp? Because clearly it's not there currently. Not to mention, if you go up against a team that destroys you and then you get matched with them again in the next match, you get back-to-back -back triple digits taken away from you in points and all that progress that you have made is gone. But one of my most frustrating things when it comes to points in comp is when you have one or more blueberries on your team and they leave a match, which in turn either leaves you with one other blueberry that potentially will leave or leaving you by yourself. I am not a PVP god at all and I never claim to be. I mean, I can 1v1 the other team if they come at me at a decent pace, but if they all rush me at the same time and sandwich me in a corner, I'm done for. However, even when in this situation, I would take massive point loss if I don't actually beat them. I mean, if my team leaves, then it's just me and then I should not be penalized 200 plus points if I end up losing. In truth, Bungie, make it make sense. So these are just some of the few issues that I currently see in comp for Destiny 2. I'm pretty sure there are more out there that can have an easy fix or even a complicated one. But nevertheless, a fix is a fix. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think needs to change in the game when it comes to the competitive playlist, or if you have any ideas that would make the playlist better itself. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.